Hello, Galaxy. I'm Chris Perillo, and I have returned from Galaxy's Edge after returning to Galaxy's Edge, even though I wasn't really there directly, necessarily. I was visiting a trading outpost at Target. I don't know if you knew this, but if, if you know me at all, you probably know that I was up late last night when I tweeted just past midnight. I've been doing a lot of tweeting. And I've been sharing a lot of those tweets in my email newsletter, which is kind of a digest of the things that are on my radar. This video will be linked in the newsletter that'll go out tomorrow morning. It's free. Uh, the link is in the video description. I uh, I went to Galaxy's Edge, the trading outpost at Target. It was it was exciting to have new releases, certainly. Uh, my day is going excellent, uh, by the way. Thank you for asking, Tito. I, uh, I've been out all day. It, all day. I've been up since 6.30. Well, despite having been up uh, just past midnight Pacific to pre-order some of the items uh, that uh, I think one of them is going to still be shipping. This one I pre-ordered to pick up in the store. Uh, the Target is basically doing a marketing campaign with Disney for Galaxy's Edge. And so Galaxy's Edge exclusive merch, or really previously exclusive to Galaxy's Edge merch, is now finding its way into Target, which is Wonderful. You might remember uh, I actually showcased this one at Galaxy's Edge or when I was there at Disneyland uh, because I, I needed the four pack that had this and Commander Pyre in it. Commander Pyre is still not available for pre order, though, by the way. Uh, hello, Roland. Good to see you. And thank you, by the way, for being a supporter. Thank you for being a member, you Emperor's Royal Guard wearing red. Me, I'm wearing pink. This is not a part of Galaxy's Edge. I thought it was going to be a short sleeve shirt when I got it. It was kind of expensive, but it was like a, a buy one, get one type of thing. Uh, it's got uh, the words Millennium Falcon on the sleeve. The Millennium Falcon. Well, that's upside down there, but like if I turn around, you can see it's back there. I've been looking for more pink shirts, pink Star Wars shirts to wear so that Jedi doesn't feel like she's all alone and wearing pink because they market pink towards girls. So I figured, hey, why not? So it's pretty comfortable. I am a little warm, though, admittedly. So if I roll up my sleeves, that's why. Uh, so I was up at midnight, did the pre-orders, uh, picked up the Hondo this morning at Target, and I was really dismayed when I got back home because I realized that the one that I got had a pockmark. And I, I'm trying to keep at least one of them mint in box, if at all possible. Uh, this one is no longer mint in box. <laughs> It wasn't. And so I grabbed, uh, you know, uh, another one just in case because, you know, I have two of each, right? One to hold on to, uh, one to open. Uh, and uh, the same thing kind of for the Mountain Trooper as well. Even though I do have a loose one, uh, this one that I found um, happens to have a score mark on it. Plus, I wanted a single carded Mountain Trooper as opposed to the four pack uh, that was available or is still available at Galaxy's Edge. So it's great to see Target doing this because Target has way better distribution in our area in general, in my opinion, uh, than Walmart does or any of the other exclusive uh, places. Although I got to say, uh, GameStop is doing wonderful with their shipping and handling. Um, so I, I was trying to decide at the beginning of the video which one of these I wanted to open first. So I, I'm going to throw it out to the three people who are watching live. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to do this video earlier, but it's, it's been a long day. I wanted to also show you the thrift haul for this week, but that's going to be reserved. I may be doing another live video tomorrow uh, my, with the thrift haul of the week and maybe some tips uh, for thrifting uh, thrown in for good measure. But uh, whichever one you want me to open first, I will open first. So we've got Hondo, on Hondo Onaka and a Mountain Trooper, which we haven't seen yet. I think it was supposed to be a character at Galaxy's Edge, which I would love to return to, like for real, or as Jedi calls it, Galaxy's Wedge. I will show you the other uh, figures, other pickups. Oh, right there. Uh, we have a DJ Rex, and you might have noticed... Uh, in the uh, garage sale video that I did last week, uh, I have the original Rex now. The five, well, it wouldn't be a five POA, but the classic uh, Rex. So now I have this one. Uh, so the new one. This one I'm going to keep in the box right now, uh, unless I can uh, get a hold uh, of a duplicate. So DJ Rex is on the table, but off the table. A little uh, larger box right there. DJ Rex, orange. You, the one that I have is like blue. And I guess there's a red variant that I saw on eBay. Stay tuned for more information on that. I also want to, before I forget, uh, say that Yakface had posted there's a variant, uh, or could be a mistake, uh, a variant Hondo Onaka with a Rebel insignia or Resistance insignia rather than the First Order. 
FYI. Even though he's a pirate, he, I would I would classify um, Hondo as more well, I don't know more resistance than First Order. That's my opinion. Um, put that there and show you the last Black Series figures that was figure that was released today. Good box, uh, Captain Cardinal. Um, in in my travels because you know it was Sunday, I was just kind of like you know. All right, tomorrow's work, and I got to get back to the grind. I'm like, okay, what, what am I going to do? So I went around uh, and hit various targets. I saw a few Captain Cardinals sitting out there, including one in a damaged box, which I could have picked up at a discount. Target generally will give you like a 15% discount, maybe even higher, if you have a damaged box. But I was like, nah, 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 it's, that's okay. I think I have another one on pre-order. A lot of people seem to be skipping, skipping Captain Cardinal, which is kind of shock. Um, it's a character, I believe, from a book, a book that I have not read yet. Uh, or listened to at least, but it's a it's a red figure, and now I've got this one, the the uh, Sith trooper, the the uh, Sith jet trooper, and then a classic Crimson stormtrooper that I need to unbox yet. Uh, but I'm gonna have like the four of the the red troopers lined up there on one of my red shelves here in the uh, the play shop. I'm kind of a fan of red, and pink. Uh, so Captain Cardinal. Uh, is is available there too. By the way, uh, a quick production note. I'm doing my best uh, to guys. Guys, tell me. I'm gonna open. I'm just gonna pick one at random. If you do, if someone doesn't just mention a name, Hondo Onaka or the Mountain Trooper. Like I'm just gonna I'm, because I'm gonna open both of these in this video. That's a threat. Um, I I I think this video should be broadcasting at 60 frames per second now officially. Uh, I I did some rejiggering. And even though uh, it's 60 frames per second, it's only broadcasting at 720p. That was the way I was able to balance the two, because I'd rather be broadcasting in 60 frames per second at 720p versus 1080p, 30 frames per second. Maybe you feel different. I don't know. So I, I knew, though, after the, after the day was done, I wanted to take Jedi. So uh, we went. We saw a couple of things. One of the things uh, wasn't really Galaxy's Edge related, uh, but um, it, we got that for because I... Spoiler alert, I'm going to probably be doing a Baby Yoda dedicated video this week as well. I've got a couple things stacked up. I, I gotta break it down, otherwise it gets it gets lumped into one. So stay tuned for some evening fun with me this week. You want some life advice as I'm doing these show and tells? Great. Feel free to ask. Life advice. Life advice. About life. <laughs> or maybe collecting in general or, or how I might do it. Uh, so this is one of the things she got. The box was damaged, so I did save 15% on it. Uh, this droid, it comes completely blank, and it comes with a sticker sheet or two. There's a classic astromech and a ball astromech available. Uh, unfortunately, though, they only limit it to two colors per set, which is kind of odd, but they're like $12.99 a piece, which isn't bad, uh, because these are kind of like Hasbro's, um, uh, they're, they're, they're larger, uh, like, like five POA series, their 12 inch series. I believe that's the scale because I'm pretty sure this matches in line. So a Jedi and her uh, friend ended up uh, putting uh, these uh, together. Uh, that, well, at least part of it. So this is what, this is named Singy. That's the name of the Jedi's droid here. This is Singy. Just FYI. Singy. Right there. Uh, Chris uh, went to the Galaxy's Edge recently. Yes. No. Rewind to the beginning of this live video. I will go back one day. But anyway, so this cool stickers, which I appreciate rather than paint. Uh, it just takes a steady hand. I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm a little, you know, not, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, having, like, the, the insignias, like, right there and right there and right there. I'm like, okay, that's, if that's, if this is the way she wants to decorate her astromech, great. I may end up grabbing another one of these um, when, if, if or when they, they end up going on sale. So that's the one of the that's her big win today from uh, Galaxy's Edge, or she calls it Galaxy's Wedge. Okay, now okay, I don't know. Okay, these are definitely Galaxy's Edge. I'm gonna open them. Oh, I see someone's asked a technology question. Well. Let me go ahead and segue into technology solution. You want technology? I'm about to tech you out the bit rate. Uh, pop sockets. They're new Vader's. New Vader pop sockets. And this is this was kind of pricey. A pop wallet, which you can stick on the your phone, and then it acts as a wallet. And I guess these now um, allow you to swap pop sockets, which is great. 
Uh, so I, I may end up getting an extra one of these and putting it on my next uh, phone. I'm going to be talking about my next possible phone in the podcast that I'm posting to the newsletter for tomorrow. So if you're not subscribed yet, you should be. Although I may end up doing that just for members. I wonder, can I post that? Can I post audio files to YouTube members? I know I can for Patreon, so I can do that. And then for the newsletter subscribers, I'll have to look into it. Either way, new Darth Vader pop socket. I had to grab it. Had to grab it. Uh, more technology for you. Uh, this is another Darth Vader pop socket. But this <laughs> this is wonderful, right? You've got a can koozie or a cooler or, you know, a holder if it's too warm. Uh, you know, uh, if you're like me, you sip espresso and it's gone like that. Uh, but this is another pop socket product. Darth Vader, of course. I passed on the other ones. Uh, but this is also available. And I you know, rather... Amazing. Rather nice. And then the third, just a classic pop socket, right? More tech for you. Here's more tech. Uh, Darth Vader. A Darth Vader pop socket. Sorry, I, I can't lock the exposure, unfortunately, on my end right now. Uh, but there's the uh, the Vader. So if it's a Vader that I haven't seen, and it's, it's, it's there, I'm like, okay, I'm grabbing it. They know me. All the other pop sockets I'll pass on, but these not so much. This, by the way, is not a replaceable pop socket. This is a classic pop socket. This is a swappable pop socket. So I'd, I'd probably be inclined, though it, it does add a little bulk or would add a little bulk, I'd be just as inclined um, to uh, to use this on uh, on my next uh, device. Uh, okay, so next, I just talked about, what are you talking about? Channel's not a tech. Yeah, it is. This is tech, dude. Like, I, don't, I don't know what's wrong with the, your perspective in not seeing that these things go on smartphones. Look at it. It says, like, right there, phone, dude. Okay, so... Uh, the next thing that I was going to show is this, Sabak. Now, originally I was going to pass on this. I even passed on it, the Sabak set at Galaxy's Edge, like, official. But this particular one, uh, I thought, was uh, just the regular Sabak deck until I looked a little closer. And this is actually Sabak-shaped playing cards! Can you believe it? Oh, Salacious Rum, thank you. Thank you for being here. Salacious Rum, you can help me decide whether I'm opening uh, the Mountain Trooper or Hondo Onaka first. Which one, Salacious Rum? I leave it up to you now, since everybody else is not, not wanting me to open anything. I want to open things. <laughs> I'm in the mood to open. I haven't even showed you all the stuff I got from Galaxy's Edge here. This is, I mean, it's official Galaxy's Edge merch. It's branded that way. I, I just know it's going to be short-lived, and that is so disappointing because it's an end, it's on an end cap. It needs to be a permanent thing at Target, period. End of story. Like, just please, 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 is it too much that Disney, please, please make this happen. You can crank out the merch, man. There are enough partners out there. Oh, this is wonderful. Look at that, the Mythosaur Skull. Oh, man, this is amazing. I, I'm very glad I looked a little closer at this when I went back. Looking for the better Hondo Naka box. All right, I am going to need the scissors. Maybe not. Lindsay, what's the biggest te tech, biggest merch item I got today? Today, I can't show you. Um, I did get something rather large-ish today, but I'm going to save that for the Baby Yoda video. Spoiler alert. And I got a great deal on it too. Okay, so playing cards, but shaped like Sabak cards. Just classic playing cards. I love these. These, I zero doubt in my mind, may become my favorite playing cards ever. And I've got a few different uh, uh, designed uh, playing cards. So you've got Stapes there. Is that Stapes? No, it's just a spade. Yeah, club, heart, diamond. So they're the classic suits. Uh, and... Uh, uh, I don't, I'm not a collecting, I'm not a, a playing card player, but man, oh, these cards, mm, so nice. And I love, I do love the fact, um, I, I was kind of iffy on Cardamundi with the license. It was, they were getting kind of stale, but Aquarius has been doing an amazing job with their cards, in my humble opinion. This is just one example, creative, thinking way outside the box. And look, there's even, uh, there's a notch. That's where a notch actually makes me happy, right there. Avaline French, good to see you, virtually at least. Um, Hondo says Salacious Rum. All right, thank you, Salacious Rum. 
knew I could count on you. Hondo Onaka. And again, I'm opening him because there's a pock mark. Oh, it kills me. Because the corners are better than the one that I found, but I'm like, ah, it's close enough. I can't, I honestly, with the new design, and I may get into this uh, later this week as I go through the regular pickups, um, specifically the new Black Series design. I showed you one of them the other day, and uh, I'm, I'm not exactly feeling good about the new design because I think they're, it's prone to far more crunches. Oh... I, Honda, I passed, I, did I pass on Honda? Which one did I pass on? Oh, I passed on DJ Rex. I don't, I didn't have a, I already had a Honda in the four pack, right? But I didn't open it because I wanted a second one to keep the, the, the reason why is because they, they put, they repacked three other figures in two of those sets. Uh, it was Honda, Ray, Chewie, and I think some Porg. And then um, the one, the other one was, DJ Rex, R2, BB-8, and C-3PO. And I did, I passed on that one, um, thinking I'd get it at some point. Now I don't need to. And then the other one I had to get two of was the one with the Mountain Trooper Pyre and then um, Kylo. There was another one? There was some, oh, and a mouse droid in there, a Black, Black Series mouse droid. So that was the most amazing set at Galaxy's Edge. Like, Galaxy's Edge outright. Uh, you miss, uh, let's see. Oh, I thought you said TBS. I was going to say, you can't miss TBS. The Black Series is right here. But that's not what you wrote. You actually, I think that's a typo. Captain Greybeard, you made a typo. I think you meant to type TBS for the Black Series. Have not been getting notifications lately. Like I said, sign up for my email newsletter. That's all you got to do. Craigslist Hunter mentioned me. Wait, what? I bought a whole bunch of Star Wars from him on his eBay store. He said some guy called Chris bought them. Instantly thought of you. Wait, me? Hang on. Time out. What? <laughs> hang on. We gotta wait, 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 wait. Hang, hang, hang on. Let's let's rewind here. What are you saying? Because I, I get things on eBay a lot. Uh, but what? What? As I get Hondo out, you have to explain. Link me. Craigslist Hunter. Bunch of Star Wars items from him on his eBay store. Craigslist Hunter. What did I get? What did I get a ton of? From one vendor? I don't know. Jedi has not, um, not really watched Power Rangers. Man, Hondo is just a pain in the neck. All right, making sure I got all the accessories. I do. Oh, yes? Uh, doing a meeting. Okay. I, 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 I have to do a meeting for people. I, I'm doing a meeting now. Okay. Yeah. Hondo Naka. Six inch scale. Oh, he's got a holster for his blaster there. I'd like to have Jedi in here. I would. It's just there's a lot of stuff, and she gets to be grabby hands, and I have to contain it. I, I promise. I will try to find an angle this week to bring Jedi onto the video, uh, one of the videos. Because, I, like I said, I've got, let's see here, probably three I'm going to be doing this week before the weekend strikes. Uh, watching Craigslist Hunter video, packing up items to ship. Oh, you, no, it's, it may not be me. I don't, a guy called Chris brought them, and he buys a lot from him. I, see, I don't think that's me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to look it up now, but I, I really don't think that's me. Unless he said Perillo, it, it, it's, and you, you'd have to make the connection. It's not me. Though I do get a lot of Star Wars stuff on eBay. Uh, it's the only way to, to hunt anymore, apart from thrifting, and that, that video is coming up uh, uh, soon. Uh, so, Hondo Naka, very nice. Oh, I love it. Oh. But the one I can't wait for, even though you can get it with the Falcon, that the $400 Falcon is the 3.75 inch scale Honda Onaka. That's the one I've been waiting for. I don't think I even have one uh, from the original run, uh, unfortunately. Uh, oh wait, hang on. He is left-handed. Give me a second. So, and you can tell because he's got a trigger finger. It's poking out. Je Jedi hears everything, especially when I'm like being very, very, very loud. Oh, this is the thing that just drives me up the wall. I love the fact that these are very tight. Toits. Very toits. 
but getting them in there can sometimes be a challenge. Um, the the uh, the weapons. So I, I'm inclined to hold, keep it in the holster, but man, Hondo Naka, Hondo Naka, maybe be a pirate Jedi. Come on, any other Rebels fans? Uh, what's the next thing I need to show you? Okay, Hondo. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hold on to Mountain Trooper right now. Let me check this. No, that those are repickups. Jedi has been enjoying uh, the uh, the sticker. I showed this last week or in a recent video. But man, for three bucks, this thing is incredible. You've got sheets, right? Regular sheets. Um, you've got like the scenes there, right? Over a planet. And then you got these amazing stickers, these foil stickers. Uh, and then regular stickers as well. I mean, just like this is an incredible bargain for three bucks. An alphabet, a colorful alphabet. Like, multiple pages? I'm like, this is just wonderful. Like, these, I love, I love those. They're super affordable. Okay. Now, the thing that Jedi, okay, I'm going to, since we're going to make a segue into Jedi, oh, this is something I already, sh I already, sh I picked this up because now they're on sale at Target, uh, or at Target in the Galaxy's Edge section, uh, the the child playing cards. I got some for Jedi. Might make her way, might make the, their way into the sticker stocking. So the one thing that, people seem to want everywhere were uh, were the plushies or at least one of these plushies and uh this is something that i i, I wanted to get for her i wanted to find the loath cat plushie and, and by the way for uh, as a side thing salacious rum hondo does not come with his kowakian monkey lizard and i gotta tell you i'm kind of disappointed he doesn't come with his monkey lizard because this is the Galaxy's Edge Hondo Onaka, not necessarily the one from the Clone Wars. So that's why he doesn't have a Kowakian monkey lizard, unfortunately. Uh, so anyway, I found one, but this was not the first one that I saw. Uh, this is here. Let me. Let me just, just, can, can, how is it? How is this sitting before? Oh, was it like that? I, I'm obsessed now with the position of the box. <laughs> All right, fine. I'm putting it right there. Uh, I got to remember, don't make me forget, or don't let me forget. This was not the first Loath Cat that, that I saw. I got to a Target store bright and early. There were two other people. And we all kind of, you know, we were there. You know, one minute, the, the door opening. We all kind of go there, grab a basket. Or at least two of us grabbed a basket because I followed another gentleman. And we arrive at the area, and there's still the guy, a clerk that I know. We don't converse a lot, but I know that he generally unpacks boxes, and he's generally friendly. And there are a few that he hadn't gone through because he was still in the process of setting up the little uh, end cap with Galaxy's Edge. And so we were kind of talking. I'm like, oh, I want this, and I want that. Oh, yeah, I was looking for this. I was looking for that. And the, this, there was a woman who uh, was basically um, – and I, 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 that reminds me. Let me do this. Uh a woman said that the, the one thing that she wanted was specifically this uh, this Loth Cat, right? And so it was, you know, we were, we were open, the, there were some of the Black Series that are out, I think we each grabbed one. I grabbed the wrong one. But that's okay, it turned out well, because now I have, here we go. I, can, I, can, I feel better about keeping something that I've opened there. Uh, either way, you know, we all seemed to get what we had wanted, and I was like, oh, what's that? Or I, I wanted to take a look at this, or I wanted to take a look at that. And the guy, the clerk was very nice, and he opened the boxes, you know, to the ones that we wanted to see. And the woman said that the one thing that she wanted was specifically the Loath Cat. So I saw the, a box that was likely the, the plush, the, the plush, there were several plush in the series, uh, and I asked him, like, could, could, could we open this? And he did, he opened it up, and I, you know, I basically handed the box back to, to the woman. I said, all right, I think, I, sa I said, I think that's a little cat's ear or tail or something. And she pulled it right out and there's only one in the box. I'm like, oh, I'm like, that's okay. It's okay. I got what I was looking for. I planned on going out anyway, because, you know, it was a nice little toy run today and I wound up getting way more than I bargained for. But, uh, either way, uh, you know, she got what she, she was specifically wanting. I definitely got what I wanted. I think everybody was generally uh, happy basking in the glow of that. Uh, but I, I ended up finding, I think, at the next store. Yeah, it was the next store. They didn't have these out, but I had the DPCI number, so I had them look it up, and she was very nice as well. The clerk pulled it out. He pulled them out, um, and I, I grabbed the, the Loath Cat. Jedi is going to have the Loath Cat in her bed. 
So this is a surprise for her. She doesn't know she's she's getting this. But that's not the funny part. So or the cool. Well, it's not really. That wasn't funny. Um, this was the cool part. No, I, I don't have any unboxing juice right now. I should have grabbed some because I'm warm. Like I said, this this shirt I thought was a short sleeve shirt. It is not. Uh, it's very warm. So uh, there's a Darth Vader VR game you should check out. I would love to. I have the PS4, but unfortunately, if you, you might remember that if if it's uh, if it's VR and I can't experience it at, at, at 90 hertz or higher, I get motion sickness. So PS4, I do believe is is not an option for me. It's that's very depressing. So I tweeted uh, as a quote tweet. Like, because this morning as I was, you know, heading in, I took a picture of the sunrise showing, hey, we're up, you know, nothing like the thrill of an early morning toy, uh, a Star Wars toy run. And so I quote tweeted it and I said, you know, I wanted to get the Loath Cat, the story basically that I told you. And then someone replies, someone who I've been following, uh, Yoko McCann, uh, and that's that's her handle on Twitter. You can see her replies to mine. Uh, she, she replies, she said, I think that might have been me. I'm like, what? So we go back and forth, and it was her. So we follow each other on Twitter. And did, we didn't even know it. Like, we follow each other, right? But we didn't know. And I don't know if it's because we all, we both had masks on. Apparently, she had an Ahsoka mask. I didn't even notice. I was wearing my baby with a mask. And I was like, well, I did this, and I did then I did this. She said, yeah, it was you. So she was so happy. And I so basically, we knew each other, and I helped her, even not knowing her, uh, get the thing that uh, she wanted before you know someone else grabbed it or certainly you know I, I it was it was not as important to me as I knew it would be uh, for her not knowing her at all but apparently knowing her but she does videos too like unboxing stuff she's had a couple of Star Wars stuff she's got a, a huge collection behind her uh, but way, probably way better organized than mine I'm like oh there's space you know okay here's space uh, so uh, anyway Check her out. Uh, the I, I uh, like I said. Uh, the uh, um, you can see the replies to my tweets if you're at all interested in chasing her down. Um, she's there and she's local and apparently we were following each other. So anyway, that's like to me that's a really funny story. That is a really funny story. Uh, JL asks uh, thoughts on the new changes to New Hope with Greedo and McClunky. I don't mind. I like it. I it doesn't bother me at all. McClunky. Now we got a new word to throw into canon. It works for me. Uh, there'd only be a few other things that I might change, but generally speaking, it's all Star Wars to me. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Uh, so it's it's great. She's uh, Yoko's no, no longer at Funko. I don't know if you've been following that bouncing ball, uh, but uh, at least it's it's not in her profile. Uh, and so um, th these are things that I learned today. Uh, you know, but uh, she, she uh, she's. The thing I love is meeting other collectors and even more meeting other collectors who are doing content online. That's like, that's awesome. I love that. Love it. Uh, but Jedi will hopefully love this. In this particular series, I'm going to put, put this one down. I ended up, oh, 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 I didn't even, Jedi better not be an earshot. So it's the same Loath Cat sounds as the Loath Cat, the bigger Loath Cat. From the Galaxy's Edge, which I got her. Banthas. You can get it can give milk. Not really. Blue milk. There's Bantha. I had to get that. And then I was kind of tossed up on these two, and I was like, well, she's got the new new Wampa. I thought it was cute. Apparently Diana's scared of anything with teeth. Uh, and then uh, a, a baby Tauntaun. That, I just, come on, that's just, those are cool. A little more on the expensive si side, but I passed on the Porg, and I passed on the Ewok. But these, I'm like, okay, they're, I think they're pretty cute. The Bantha is a definite win, and the Loath Cat is an absolute win. The Tauntaun and the Wampa, I think we see frequently enough that I, I wouldn't consider them, like, huge wins for the, uh, for the Stumpies. The Jedi has watched pretty much all of them. I don't know if she remembers everything, but I do not watch The Walking Dead, Generally speaking, I'm not into horror, although I'm saying that, but um, I know people say it's not horror, but they also said the last season wasn't really great, so I'm kind of like, well, I'm not really going to invest myself in it. Love Ca Craft Country. I am absolutely enjoying. And that's really kind of horror. Uh, the Galaxy's Edge experience is, is incredibly immersive. You'll have to go back and watch those uh, videos that I did when I was there. And now for my second Mountain Trooper. Uh, I do not watch Supernatural, no. 
Oh no no no. Oh, I'm not. I'm. I don't know what subject you're saying. I'm avoiding. I'm. Uh, I'm talking about Star Wars. So that's that's the subject. And people are asking questions about pop culture entertainment. So that's kind of within the realm. Otherwise, I'd wax nostalgic about that with every live video that I do because inevitably the similar questions get asked. So kind of gotta kind of gotta mix it up. So yeah. But don't worry. Have no fear. Uh, you know, check out my Twitter feed. Pretty much has everything you might want. Anything you might want. Uh, I Am I watching, Roberto? And it's good to see you. And thank you, by the way, for being a member of this channel. Uh, I watched it. And if you watch my video from my most recent video, Thursday, I actually unboxed something that the high score uh, marketing team sent me. So, yeah, I enjoyed it uh, for its diversity. Uh, and uh, certainly would absolutely recommend it. Right up there. Uh, so, this is the Mountain Trooper. The thrill, the thrill, nothing comes close. Nothing comes close to opening new figures. <laughs> oh man, oh, especially these. Oh, okay, so you can articulate the neck too. Oh, there's something about the Imperial, uh, uh, like ethos, the, the, the ethos, or first order ethos has just always been spectacular to me. Um, let's see what else, okay, I'm gonna show you that. In another haul, I guess I'm moving on to these. Last thing that I got from Galaxy's Edge, I'm not going to open, I don't know if I'm going to open, maybe I'll open one. I'm not going to open this one. Um, this is, these are all Astromechs, so they released six of these boxes. They released the classic Astromech that usually, that has like a swappable accessory. So this is a red Astromech with the dome that you can swap. So you can make it look, you know, like the R5 unit or the R2 unit dome. So there's that one. And I got two of each. So I'm going to, because again, open one, keep one in the box. This is uh, another uh, R R R2 type of uh, dome. It's kind of hard to see because it's, it's black. Right? Not black series. Oh, you can see the reflection there. Um, but uh, it's got like rocket jets on its legs. The, this is one of these I'm going to open. So the thing I love about the ball, the ball, boy, I wish I could, I need, I almost need a, a different key light for these side things. It's really dark. Um, but the uh, uh, two astromech, two ball astromechs come in the ball astromech packs, which is great because these were like 10 bucks a piece. So like two figures for five bucks a piece, basically, is amazing. Like astounding. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure that was the price. <laughs> maybe, maybe it wasn't. Uh, another two. This is like this one's got one's purple and black, and the other one's uh, black and white. I do know about the spe uh, I do know about the despecialized Star Wars fan edits. I have not watched them. Five hundred piece puzzle and a black tin. Oh, I, I didn't watch. I didn't buy that. That's not me. Sorry. Uh, this is a this is a, this is a astromech obviously, but it comes with like a, a serving a tray. You remember R2 had a serving tray in Return of the Jedi? I got two of these. Uh, it's kind of a pur purple-pink astromech with white, or with the, the purple-pink highlights. I got two, or I got really an additional one when I found an additional one for Jedi. So Jedi opened hers, and she calls it R RD? RT? I don't know why, but anyway, that's, that's another one. I'm only going to show you one. I'm not going to show you the duplicates uh, of the ones. Cause I, I I'm gonna keep one in the box, and this is uh this is the last of the the series, black, and, right? <laughs> I have to make sure. Uh, this one's a like black and silver. Oh wait, it almost looks like a BB nine E. Definitely not BB nine E. Curved dome, uh, astromech. Right there, and a red and white astromech. So I, this is why I would love for them to um, you know, continue to have some kind of Galaxy's Edge type of presence at Target um, because it would be great to have things like that on a, on a regular basis but we we can't get those kind of things on a regular basis. We, ha we have to wait for Disney to release them. Very, very happy though uh, with everything at Galaxy's Edge. Happy with the effort. Happy with the outcome. Happy with the pickups. Uh, had a great day. Uh, Jedi had fun even though it wasn't as set up as it could have been. There was only one Target in our area that really had everything solid um it wasn't the one that i went to initially but uh they had more merch out like shirts they have shirts and mugs 
I passed on I, a lot of that stuff, which I'm prone to. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm generally not into mug pickups or shirt pickups unless it's a good price. Usually like in the $10, $13 range for me with the t-shirt. This was a little more than $10 to $13, but it was pink and it was wearable and it was something that, okay, it's another pink shirt that I can wear so that Jedi isn't the only person in the house who's wearing pink. Because I, I, I have a problem with the way pink is marketed specifically towards girls. So I'm taking a little bit of pink back. Uh, did I get a chance to experience the Rise of the Resistance? I did not, Dan. It wasn't there when I went to Galaxy's Edge, unfortunately. And when I was supposed to go back, I couldn't because of timing. And it just didn't work out, which is really, really sad. What's the oldest star first Star Wars figure you still own to this day? The first one. I, In fact, you can probably search in my channel. Like, for the time that I talked about my first Star Wars figure. Like, go to, go to YouTube and search... Chris Perillo, first Star Wars figure. I bet it's there. I still have it. It's right. It's right there. It's right over there. I can, I can. Well, I can't see it because pops are blocking it right now. Uh, pop block. Don't be. Pop, you've heard of pop blockers. <laughs> My mind is shot. Have I mentioned that I was up late last night pre-ordering toys, and up, up again at six thirty pre-ordering toys? Oh no, no, going to stores early to get toys that I didn't pre-order. Did I also mention that I was out all day and it was kind of warm, even though it was in the 70s? It's been a long day, uh, but, you know, thank you for, for joining me for, for, this, uh, for this stream. Uh, as I mentioned, I've been tweeting a lot. That's where you can go for a lot of my updates because videos aren't necessarily going to happen. Uh, the email newsletter, next one is going to be going out tomorrow with, again, kind of a recap of things that are on my radar, uh, some, some of the finds and some of the, the, the things that, that uh, you know, I think would be good for you to have as well, or at least the things that are on my desk. And trust me, my desk is an absolute catastrophe. catastrophe. Uh, I will uh, go ahead and wrap it with the, answering this question. The most expensive item I have is the uh, the one that I unboxed live right over there. The uh, Darth Vader uh, uh, replica, prop replica. Again, you can search for that in YouTube. It's a very well-viewed video. My Star Wars videos tend to get viewed or they always got viewed a hell of a lot more than my Star Wars and Lego videos always did better, generally speaking, than the tech stuff, any of the tech things that I did, it, you know, as one-offs. So I don't, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, but yeah, that video is still there. It's expensive because A, I got it as a gift from Disney. B, it was supposed to be available as a limited edition. And I think they went out of business, meaning it was no longer available and it was pricey valued super high to begin with so like that's the thing that it's just like whoa i lucked into that i lucked into that uh so stay tuned uh for more follow me across the socials you can join live.perillo.com url is still in operation if you want to join the discord chat not a lot of activity there i use it largely to stay apprised of the news that i want to follow um you're free to have whatever discussions you want to have there and then, as I said, the newsletter's going out, tweeting on a regular basis. I'll be back probably tomorrow. I'm aiming to do my thrift of the week, thrift scores of the week, possibly tying it in with some uh, tips for thrifting that I have. Uh, and, and yeah, thank you. Family video's probably not coming back, apart from Jedi coming in. That's about as family as we might get. That might change at some point in the future. You never know. I know people miss the blogs, but you don't know how much work it took and very little return for us. So I appreciate you still looking into our lives that way. I, I'm, I've given you options where to keep connected with me. Just video is not as easy as you think if you've never done it. So that's why I love doing it live. I love you. I do. Thank you. I appreciate you. And at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices. And may the force be with you.